Well, hello everybody. I am back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to basically just try and do something neutral on the lid and then a pop of color on my bottom waterline. So yeah, I'm not going to make this a whole huge introduction. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the video. But as you guys know, if you like it, make sure you thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe because I would really, really, really appreciate that. But, on the other hand, that's it. Anything you guys want to see me record, just let me know by putting it down in the comment box or comment below and let me know what you want to see. But other than that, let's just go ahead and jump on into this video. Alright, my hands, my hands, but they are ashy. They're always ashy. Anyways, brows are already done. To do my brows, I filled in, filled them in with the dip brow from Anastasia in the shade Chocolate. And I also already set my eyelids. I used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45. And then I set it with a little bit of Nye Banana Powder. I'm going to go ahead and get into these eyes. So first I'm going to take this Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. I'm going to go into this shade that's hit pan as you can see. I'm going to go into this Morocco shade. I'm going to use this blending brush from BH Cosmetics. We're just going to go ahead and blend this out. We got that on there pretty good. Now I'm going to go into this Ace Beauty Queen Sensational Palette. I still know. I know I'm not saying that right, but whatever. I'm going to go into the shade Tangerine right here in this corner. Just a little bit of it and bring it down further into my crease. We're going to go back into that Morocco shade and we're just going to make sure this is all light blows and just blend it out. I'm going to take light strokes to make sure that this is all blended out. I'm going to take this little fluffy little shadow brush and I'm going to go into the shade Cinnamon from the Ace Butte palette. I'm just going to pat that all over my lid. This Ace Butte palette is so freaking pigmented. Like, I love this palette. I feel like some people are slick, kind of sleep on it because no one really, it's not as popping as the other brands for, for um, eyeshadow palettes. But don't sleep on them with the eyeshadow palettes because this freaking palette is so bomb. I love this palette. They're really known for their um lashes but they like just put this palette out like maybe a month or two ago and it's popping so if you don't have it i suggest you get it all right and now i'm going to go into this palette again this artist couture artist couture <laughs> i'm going into this shadow couture palette from anastasia and i'm going to go into the shade budge Added a little bit of the Nor shade onto my lid and then I'm going to put the fudge back on top of it just because I want it to darken up a little bit. Alright, so I already went ahead and added my lashes. These are from Lena Lashes and they are in the style Naomi. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to my waterline. So first I'm going to go in with this Avon Glitter Stick eyeliner and it's in a purple color first color I'm going to go into on my bottom line is going to be this grape soda soda pop color right here I'm going to sweep it across the bottom line and go ahead and sweep that across the bottom Hopefully you guys can see that well enough, but we have just like a purple 
pop of color right there on the lower lash line and then we have just some neutral brown black and orange smoky at the top with these very very dramatic eyelashes since I repeat the same steps on my face I'm not going to talk throughout that part I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through all of that so you guys can just see how it all comes together at the end and I'll see you when I finish with the face A little Vaseline for the chap lips. So I went to Walmart the other day and I saw these Milani setting sprays. This one is the Make It Last setting spray, Prime, Correct, and Set. And it's supposed to be wearable for 16 hours. And then this one is the Hydrate Illuminate and Set, Make It Dewy setting spray. So we know I love a good dewy look. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with this first and then go ahead and apply my foundation. Feels good and smells good, so that's a plus. Also got the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, and it's in the shade 11A Nutmeg, so hopefully this is my color. Let's hope. Apply it with my Damp Beauty Blender. Pumps on there. Ooh, let's pray that this is my color. I'm liking this foundation. Now let's just see how it wears throughout the day. This is popping. I like how creamy I'm looking. What? I'm gonna use my NARS concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm gonna use that same beauty blender and blend this out. Alright, I'm going to go into my Ben Nye Banana Powder. All right, I want my highlight to be popping a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with this Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Gold Digger. Just so I can glow just a little bit more. And to make sure my highlight isn't just like sitting on my face, I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush right here. And it's from the Rose Gold Collection for BH Cosmetics as well. I'm just going to make sure that it's all blended out. Light strokes. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to my lips. I got some Maybelline lipsticks yesterday. I had, can you believe that I do not own any Maybelline lipsticks? So this is my first time having or wearing some. So I have Raw Chocolate Raging Raisin and Brown Blush. bought these from Ulta and I'm going to do the Raw Chocolate shade and this is a matte lipstick. So first I'm going to line my lips and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Brown Liner and just go around and line my lips. I'm 
Now I'm going to take this raw chocolate shade. I want to stick around a little gloss look for this look, so I'm going to add the Maybelline Shine Shot Gloss. I'm very excited to try this. I've been wanting it forever. Yeah. And this gloss has me more than happy right now. Like... Yo, my lips are glossy as hell. I'm going to take both of these setting sprays. I'm going to take the illuminating one and the setting spray one. So I'm going to take this one first, which is the Make It Last setting spray. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. And then we're going to take the illuminating one as well. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and finish my hair so I can be back with these Salomos. <laughs> 